What is going on guys, Greggles TV. This is the OnePlus 6T and I wanted to go through the home screen settings also known as the launcher settings for the default OnePlus launcher. So let's get right into it. So first of all, what you wanna do is press and hold on the screen and then go to home settings. In here, there's tons and tons of settings. So let's talk about all of them. First one, if you have it turned on, it's gonna add, so if you download a new app, um, it's gonna automatically down uh, put that icon on your home screen. So if I downloaded an app from Google Play right now, um, it's gonna automatically uh, put that app on my home screen. So pretty self-explanatory. Next up is swipe down. Swipe down to access quick settings. If you have it turned on, it basically means you can swipe down from almost anywhere to access your quick settings. If it's off, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to swipe up from the swipe down from the top in order to get to my quick settings where it's on. Again, you can pretty much swipe down from wherever you are to access it. And then just go back into home settings. Next up is shelf. Swipe right from the home screen to access shelf. If I swipe over, this is shelf right here. It's basically think of Bixby Home, think of you know Google. I think they used to call it Google Home, but you know, we look at the Google launcher if you swipe from the left to the right. Um, it's gonna access different things, things that it thinks you want like recent apps or recent contacts, things like that, how much uh, data and battery life and all that stuff you have left. If you turn it off, you won't have that uh, on there. So if you, if you get annoyed by that, maybe you wanna turn it off. Otherwise you can just leave it on. Next up is double tap to lock. Double tap on the black, uh, blank screen of home screen to screen off and lock the device. So if I do this, it locks it. If I undo, if I do it again, it also will unlock my screen as well. And there you go. So kind of a cool little thing to have if you are, you know, I wish a lot of other phones have this. It's just, it's such a good little, quick little thing to lock and unlock the screen. Next up is drawer. It says display all apps when entering the drawer. So if I swipe up, I'm gonna see all of my apps A to Z. Otherwise you can go in there and turn uh, drawer into quick search. So if you have that on and you swipe up, it's not gonna show you really any apps, but if you type like for instance letter G, it's gonna show you any app that has the letter G in it for you to access. I don't like that. I'd rather see all my apps rather than uh, go on and look for them. I think it's a little bit confusing if you end up doing it that way. So I would keep it as all apps. Again, just makes it a little bit easier. Notification dots when you have a notification. Um, think of, you know, iPhone was really, if, at least from what I remember, was one of the original companies to do this. So if you have a uh, notification for Instagram or Facebook or something like that, it would have like a number one or number two or however, how many notifications you have. If you have notification dots, turned on right here. If you have it off, you won't see those you know, numbers. Icon pack, this is gonna change the icons. You can see how my icons look now. If I choose like, you know, one of these, you can see they're gonna change ever so slightly. Or you can download a pack. So it just gives you a little bit more customization. You can download more as well, uh, different icon packs. And, and this is really nothing new. It's a very common customization in Android for, for people to have. And then lastly is home screen layout. In here, you can change it, you know, how big the icons are. And it gives you a preview of what it's gonna look like on your home screen. Obviously you can move them around if you want. Uh, you can also change the icon size. If you want them smaller or medium size or really, really large, you have that option as well. And that is the home screen settings for uh, the OnePlus 6T and probably really any other OnePlus phone as well. But regardless, let me know what you think in the comments down below. There's some nice customizations in there, nice control, um, and it's really easy to use. So don't be afraid to go in here and customize some of the stuff. Hopefully my walkthrough helps you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys down the road. Peace.